Hello, it's Audio Bass Chris here with another Pi Mega video. This is a big one. We've had version 1.5 dropped by the Guru Master Chris Edwards, who's um, put this all together for us. Obviously, this is a self-contained distribution um, designed to run on a Raspberry Pi, but you can run it in WinUAE on, an, uh, on a PC. And if you want to know how to do that, it's pretty simple. Uh, I will direct you to a video I've already done on the subject on my channel, which is uh, showing how to run the previous version from extracting the images and the configuration. If you follow that, you'll get to the point I'm at now. If you don't want to do the configuration, then I'm going to just quickly jump through all of the pages here Feel free to pause the video, have a look at the pages, and recreate them as you see fit. I will point out it's uh, still using uh, version 3.1 Kickstart ROM. This is the important bit. You need to make sure that all of your folders on your local hard drive correspond to these folder names here. Expansions are just default. Here's your RTG board. With all that done, hit start and you'll drop yourself into Pymega. For boot, here we go. And here we are in Pymega. This appears to be running in 1080 uh, to start with, which is very, very nice. We've got some lots of new stuff, so. Here we've got a couple of new games added. I'm not going to go through all of these. Uh, just grab the image yourself and have a good old play if you like. What have we got in work? Amiga CD collection. Wow. Now that is amazing. So it looks like we've got quite a few uh, CD games here. This is just a kind of what's new. Videos, I'm not opening any of these because I'll get hit with a copyright strike. Just an icon with no folder there. The complete uh, toe set collection. Wow. So this has the full WHD load set up on it as well. But now we've also, as a nice little bonus, we've got the, uh, the toe set collection here as well, which is fairly complete, if not totally complete. So that's everything Amiga related there. Lots of magazines. Lord of the Rings if you want to read it in your Amiga virtually. Downloads, obviously not a lot there yet. Graphics, stock, some extra wallpapers, textures and whatnot. Very nice. So programs. In graphics I should expect to see, yeah, stuff like Deluxe Paint, Light Wave, Cinema 4D. They are Deluxe Paint 4. Great stuff. Emulators. Now, this is always a laugh. I'm going to see if this works. Again, I am running a different configuration to what I was expecting. So if it doesn't work, when I double click, that doesn't mean anything at all. Okay? It will work on the uh, on a Raspberry Pi. Chris has put plenty of work in making it work. Let's see what happens when I press start. Oh, look at that. So if you ever wanted a Mac in your... Uh, <laughs> if you wanted to run a virtual Mac on your virtual Amiga, there you go. That's really good, that. This should run really well on a Raspberry Pi, actually. 
Not too sure why it's not running quite so well on my PC, but uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, I've gone through these before, this image. It's really quite cool. I'm just going to uh, reset this, actually. In theory. Trust me, it's quicker for me to do this than it is to me try and figure out to get back out with shape shifted. Right. So rebooting Primega. You do get different scratch, uh, splash screens as well, which is quite nice. And it should be in wallpaper now. There you go. <laughs> Very cool. So much work put into this and it's so nice. of MIDI modules, MP3s. Let's uh, try and fire up some tunes. Eagle Play, I think, is one. Yeah. So good. Love it. Um, so yeah, uh, and if, of course, if you want to play your games, here we have them all. Two. I don't have a joystick hooked up here for a minute, but tent of drop out of there and back in here we go perfect and I mean all all the games here basically I mean thousands of games all the big hitters yeah, stick my card So this is very similar to the previous pack with things fixed that weren't that were broken and with loads more content. The full toe set collection, CD stuff. Oh, it's just magic. And of course you end up with a really nice Windows workbench. So if you own a Raspberry Pi 4 or the uh, P400, just grab one, get this image and put it on. If you want to have a play with it on a PC, follow the instructions of my previous video. Let me just jump out of this for a second. There we go. So yeah, um, it's uh, more of the same, only bigger and better and slightly, slightly faster. It's all been fixed up. And a big thanks again to Chris Edwards for all the hard work he's put into that image. I've been All Your Base Chris. I hope you've enjoyed the little video and I'll uh, catch you later on. Thanks very much.